Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about uh, gratitude again and uh, the spiritual ego. And uh, you know, this is a funny thing. The spiritual ego gets thrown around a lot. Some people consider it when you start to uphold like your spiritual authority over others is where you find um, self-worth in. Which is fine, actually, you know, we should all be proud of being able to stand in our power, you know, if we're souls reincarnating and, and we're acquiring wisdom and we're pushing ourselves, doing the work, remembering and, and realizing that we are this incredible, expansive being. Sometimes that's going to slip into ego. And, you know, that's just going to be the flip side of a coin, really. That you be proud of yourself. That's fine. Don't resist that. Don't judge that. And actually, if you don't resist that and don't judge it, it's probably just a movement you have to go through and then you can let it go. You know, I'm sure a lot of people who um, are super successful in what they do, they, they, they find fuel in that. They look at that and they find fuel in it. And they also then they realize when it doesn't serve them. When they got caught up too much in the energy of that moment of self-glorification of ego. And it, it, it got them to the finals and then they lost because they didn't share the ball. Or whatever it is, you know. But it might get them to the final. It might get them to that point of belief where they can be still and believe in themselves in a moment and be so elated by life by who they are that you know they put in that free kick that wins the game off of pure belief that's why sports exists probably it's a good place for people who have that fuel guys there'll be an institution that develops that makes uh, any kind of uh, ego trap uh, some kind of excellent I don't know if that's a word but it should be excellent Kind of like a accelerant, but uh, the thing that helps you excel. And um, anyway, I think I suffer from the flip side of that. That uh, it's not right to feel like I'm too important. But I was doing gratitude work this morning and I started to realize, um, no, it's fine to feel massively important because your consciousness inside your body experiencing yourself and if you find yourself important to a certain extent you're you're just finding what you've been offered impressive beautiful it, it is it is gratitude if you get away from the judgment of that and again when that when you're clinging on to that it'll make itself evident when you're just sitting there and it just comes to you and you don't have to force it, you don't have to to hold it up for it to be true. I'm letting a bit of sunshine in, guys, because that's that's what kind of cracked me open wide today is I got up and, and, and I took a day off from work to, to just to give myself a day of rest. And um, I've been stressing about how much work gets me up early every morning. And then I was just sitting in the living room without the burden of, of, of needing to get somewhere on time, but but with my internal clock waking me up at 5.30 still, so I'm getting up and doing my meditation and my breath work and whatever, and I'm, and I'm journaling and I'm just thinking, God, I love the sunrise. I love being up every morning, being able to see that, and, and that, that, that's, that's so big. That's so big that I can't help that. I just got to notice it. And then I thought, wow. And guys, this is where my spiritual ego fueled me. I went to this weird trailing because I, I've said this on a TikTok video. Sometimes I feel like um, with all these laws of manifestation, it can actually scare me or it can scare you. Or I don't know if there's other people this resonates with. I hope this is a gift that I'm offering. 
because that's 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 really what compelled me to do this video today. Um, and I just start thinking about whether I'm doing things right or wrong to manifest because I really need to manifest something now. I really need my luck to change or whatever it is. And then I just felt sincerely in an attempt to not be anxious that I that I called off work to give myself, you know, for all the wrong reasons. I, I was trying not to feel anxious for calling off from work. <clears throat> I went to my practices. I struggled with it a bit. I thought, am I going to my am I going to manifest poorly today because uh, because I don't have the distraction of going to work, and I have time to sit with myself. And I just well, let's just go through that. Let's feel. Remember, guys, you can feel your way to wherever you need to be, and that's a day that's fine. And I just started to feel gratitude for the fact that I was nailing gratitude like a little kid going, yeah nailed my math quiz or whatever it is you know <laughs> and um and i just kept fueling myself that because you know i usually judge that and i'm just like i'm here i'm on my own it's fine i'm fueling myself that i'm fucking nailing gratitude right now and i'm gonna i'm gonna be grateful for nailing gratitude because not because because i'm winning but because of how that feels and i get to just I get to just experience that and I'm not nailing, I'm not, I'm not bigging myself because I'm winning at something. I'm bigging myself up because I'm achieving that thing that feels so beautiful and it's just like a self-feeding cycle. I'm like, oh, I'm nailing gratitude right now. I'm so grateful. I started crying, guys. It was amazing. And then I felt my heart open. I had all, had all this kind of stress and pain in my heart all week. Feel like I've been overworking myself, latching onto routine again, disappearing from my joys, and just persevering through the shadow and whatever it is, you know. And that's fine. I think that was all a good anchor. That was all me facing those saboteurs, uh, those archetypes, the victim, and and speaking to them. And that's what it looks like. Just kind of just deciding. This is what's happening and then going with that and just as long as it makes you proud of what you're doing. And so this is where I want to get into the tangles of the spiritual ego and actually, you know, why the spiritual ego is a love waiting to happen. Get tangled up in your spiritual ego, guys. You know, anchor yourself in it because the spiritual practices will take you back to being and in those moments you'll know you'll have the eagle eye view over what that was and what that meant and how you know you're going to fall into it again and how that's fine and you can be grateful for that and you can be grateful for being tired because that led you to a moment of stillness and you can be grateful for being fearful because it led you to a moment of crying and release and you can be grateful for being angry is a hard one because you can step into your power and then f regret it if you went too angry and then and then feel love for someone else and just take every step of its of its way and just when you let yourself feel it and i think you got to practice because i've been practicing it for like a couple months now and um then it's all right So guys, let yourself feel it. And then I went back to my bedroom, like I was, I was meditating in the living room, doing all my practices in the living room of, of where I'm staying, which you guys have been seeing in my videos. That's my blanket on the on the sofa when I come up in the morning and it's too cold. Slap that on. I, I, I've wondered, should I have a nicer space behind me for these videos? I don't know, but this is really where the magic happens. You know, this is where I'm comfortable. So you guys are invited in. You Make yourself comfortable. I hope this does. I hope I'm being a good host. And I went back to my room because my body was telling me, you know, you didn't go to work. Go back and lie down for 45 minutes. And I just felt, mm, I felt my fear that I woke up with that morning. You know, things on my mind, things I got to tend to. 
whatever concerns my heart felt heavy. And I was like, oh, my heart wants me to wake up. I'm going to do it. I'm not going into work today, but I'm still going to get up. 5.30. My heart's telling me go. Got up at 6. So, guys, everything can lead to a breakthrough. And then... I sat, I lay back in my bed and I was like, oh, do I want to lay in this energy? This energy is heavy. And I thought, you know, my spiritual ego just started kicking back in again. No, don't lay in it. But I was, I was soft. I was soft inside. So it was cool. You know, I'd cried. I'd been grateful. I'd faced my sadness. I'd faced my fear. And facing it didn't mean shoving it aside. Facing it meant finding gratitude that I get to go through that, that I have these choices, that it's just so amazing to be allowed And I've heard other people say this in videos, and, and I was like, hmm, great idea. But then I started doing it, and after a week, it just kind of learned itself through me. So maybe, look, I hope that works for you guys. Try it. And sometimes really feeling what you got to feel allows you to connect to someone else. Right, right now, I want a hug. I want to see this friend. They give me hugs. I want to feel love, but do I got, don't I got to learn to do it on my own? Maybe sometimes learning to do it on your own is learning to, to let someone else give you that love. Or don't. Keep going with what you got instinct is. Keep going with what you want to learn. Keep going and be proud of the fact that you wanted to learn to give it to yourself without seeking out someone else to do it. Even if most often you fail to allow yourself to receive it from someone else. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. When it starts to matter, that's the spiritual ego. But love the spiritual ego, guys. It means you care. It means you care. Am I doing it wrong? Am I doing it right? It means you care. So in, 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 in a shadow sense, let yourself care until you realize that means you care. That means you're big inside. That means you have concerns. That means you get caught up in the game of doing it the right way, which is a game that you're allowed to get caught up in. That means, you know, you got a neurotic brain, which you're allowed to have. That means you can think of a million ways to do things better, which you're allowed to do. And which, which will serve some purpose. And when you find the purpose that it serves, when you're that guy because you have that kind of brain and, and you fit in that situation like a jigsaw puzzle, you will beam and blow open like like a supernova do be like whoa this is who i am be that this is for those people because that's that's how i you know i think everyone needs a guy that resonates with the way they work an example of like this stuff that like actually speaks to them and so i'm reaching out to those people out there because i know that i know there you're there and you're my brothers you're my sisters you're my tribe you're my people that I'm grateful for. And so I got up from my bed and and um, I grabbed my uh, Palo Santo. And I started, uh, you know, smudging the room to clear the energy. And I was thinking, because I, and then all of a sudden, I didn't have this energy because I got to get it right. I got to not sit in the negative energy that I woke up with that I'm still feeling in the room. I went, no, because I have this piece of wood. It does this amazing thing. I get to use it. It just clears energy. There's no right or wrong. I can do that if I want. And look at this just this 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 piece of incense. I'm not giving it my power. I'm enjoying what it does because it's there and it was there before me, in a sense. Probably not, maybe not, but also in a sense, if you want it to have been, it was there before me. Or I get to exist in this situation where I can believe that if I want. And I can sit here and enjoy holding this little piece of San Paolo Santo. Just enjoy it and go, wow, it does this. And I get to use it for that. And then I didn't even want to lie down in the bed, guys. I, I just was, I was just so happy to have felt like I wanted to go through all those motions. To felt like I wanted to face whatever challenge I was feeling in my head. That I felt so full of love. 
I'd cornered myself into love, you know, this brain, you got to wrestle with it sometimes. <laughs> My heart's doing an outstanding job. I think it does a job for three people sometimes trying to talk through this brain. <laughs> so you got to love that fucking heart, guys. That's how you write. That's how you write. You know, I consider sometimes, you know, we're living the life that our higher selves write. And that's the, that's on a soul level that's, that was your choice. You're not going to go through anything that you didn't, you didn't, you don't, you wouldn't allow yourself to go through. And so in some part, this is part of you that's laughing. And the more you don't feel it here, the more it's going to explode when you, when you, when you're in a moment of alignment. You don't have to nail that because not nailing that is fine too. These are all the universe's agitations and that the universe likes to agitate or else we wouldn't be here. It likes to move, it likes to do things, it likes to expand, it likes to contract. It likes to be everything. So be everything. 